Good morning and welcome to Real Life Tesla. Today we are at St. Louis Best Tenting and we are going to explore possibilities for tenting our Model 3 Tesla. So come on inside, let's meet uh, some of the people that work there and what they can do for us. Morning. How are you doing? I'm Colin, St. Louis Best. Mike Moore. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Welcome. So you're here to get some windows tinted. I am here to do my homework and get invest, uh, do some investigation on sure. what uh, would work. I've really never thought about tinting my windows sure. before. Although now that I bought my Tesla, it seems like if you don't accessorize some way, yeah, you know, everybody's gonna look down on you. So window tint's a good way to start. Ours sure. are really thin, and it's just like there's no protection whatsoever. Yeah. And I'd like to know what I have that can maybe help keep it cooler. Yeah. Uh, as well as sure. maybe give me a little cool look as sure. well. Yeah. And so well, let's look at some uh, ceramic films. Okay. Ceramic films block a lot more heat than just your average dyed film. Yeah. And in St. Louis, with it getting you know over 100 degrees for at yeah. least a week. Um, sure. That's going to be a big factor, and with leather, um, and it's all computer on the inside. Yeah. So helping keep the heat down will hopefully help my computer and extend your battery life too, keeping the car cooler. Yeah, I guess it, it's a good point because my yeah. my air conditioning, my air conditioning will actually kick in if the car hits 105 in the inside. Yeah. But it doesn't work if I'm under 20% battery. So if I'm under battery, that's not going to kick in, and then it could possibly do damage to the computer. Sure. Well, this will help all the so, way around. Um, Let's take a look. So we've got three different main series of ceramic films. Uh, CTX is kind of our entry uh, ceramic pinnacle. Uh, it's a good middle of the road. Fantastic film. Uh, Stratus is our highest and best heat rejecting film on the market. So not just what uh, Lumar Formula One can offer, but uh, in the industry, Stratus is the, is the top dog for heat rejection. And then in each series of film, uh, respectively, they have their different levels of darkness, different percentages, different shades. Uh, do you have an idea of what you're looking for shade-wise? Well, we have a white car, okay. white interior, okay. so um, I don't want the windows to be black. In each series, there's different levels of darkness or different uh, percentages uh, of shade-wise. We've got a few different examples uh, on each series. Um, there's more than just the just these three that we show here. These are a quick uh, raw example of a uh, Pinnacle 50. We have a 50% heat rejection. You can see some of the different um, heat rejecting factors. Cool thing about uh, all the ceramic series films is that they block uh, upwards of 99 uh, plus percentages of UV uh, protection, UVA, UVB. So Lumar has uh, a really cool heat display here, and this is a kind of a quick easy way that I can show you the difference of film that you can physically feel the difference of heat rejection. So kind of as this thing heats up, we've got a few different series here. We start with our classic because this is a good baseline point. So if you can feel that heat kind of coming through that classic Ooh. series, yeah, and I'll kind of go up the line. So this is your CTX, here's your Pinnacle, here's your Stratus. So that, that's difference night and day. Yeah, it's quite quite a bit different. So this is, this is a really good uh, good way to physically feel the difference between the films. You don't feel anything at all there, ever so That's slightly. even a big difference um, yeah. in between the two of those. And then go back and feel the difference of a dyed film. Wow. So it's it's completely a, a flip. And this is a 35%. So this is not a dark film. This is a, on the lighter series of film. Uh, you know, even the darker, like the 15 or something, would actually block even more than that. So we put the lightest, uh, one of the lightest, um, Good shade. sales tool because that almost makes it a no-brainer. Yeah, so if you're kind of thinking, hey, do I want to go Pinnacle, CTX, Stratus, I don't really know. They all relatively look the same. This is a great way to say, check this out. You can physically feel the difference. So what are you thinking? You know, so you have any I, questions on some of the different series? I know we talk about quite a bit. Um, different shades, different levels of darkness. What are you thinking? Yeah. You know, there's a couple days a week that I have to wear a tie, um, and especially Sundays when I go to church. So 
having a, a suit jacket and a tie, you know, you want your car as cool as you can be, mm -hmm. and the less it has to work with the air conditioner, mm -hmm. um, the more energy I save, which saves me money in the long run. Yeah. So I think Stratus is definitely the way to go. Um, let's just talk about uh, how dark of a tent I want. Sure. So we've got a, a several hundred series, or I'm sorry, shades of film. Missouri legal limits, 35 for your two front doors. And you can go as dark as you want uh, in the back of the vehicle. Stratus, the darkest film you can get is 15%. Um, and the lightest we can get is a 50% in a Stratus that we carry, that we stock. So you want it to stay legal. You want to be kind of at that border. 35 is a great choice all the way around. It, it's consistent. It matches. You talked about, you know, your concern was, is it going to look funny if I have a darker film on the on the back versus a lighter film on the front? I think 35 is the way to go. Uh, you felt the heat rejection um, on the heat lamp, the heat display. What are your thoughts? So I have a white car, mm -hmm. black uh, with the limo windows doesn't you know look the greatest either. Um, you had mentioned something earlier when we were talking about having a white interior. Mm -hmm. Does that play a factor in my choice of where I should go go with? Sure, so white interior is gonna make your film appear a little bit lighter than what it is, especially with Tesla with the glass all the way over. Um, any shade you put on is gonna appear a little bit lighter. I think though, if you ever were to get pulled over for your tint, even at nighttime and someone meters, a police officer meters your, your window, uh, you're gonna be within that legal limit. Um, and it's gonna be consistent all the way around. I think we, uh, I think the best bet would be 35% for you. And then on the back doors? Same thing, 35. Just do 35 all the way around. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the air series um, on the front windshield. Yep. 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 Awesome. How soon can you do it? We can get you in tomorrow. Tomorrow? Let's get you lined up. I'm excited. Awesome. Let's fill out an intake sheet. We'll get you signed up. Um, going through this part anyway. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right. See behind the scenes. Yeah, a little behind the scenes. So we stock a wide range of uh, all the films, obviously, that we offer in every different uh, series, every different level of darkness, um, from our Pinnacles, our Stratuses, Air Series, the Classic Series, CTX. Um, and like I said before, we stock 60 inch rolls to manage your uh, Tesla Model 3 back glass in one piece. And that's what those are down there. Several 60 inch rolls, uh, really in every different series, every different shade. We even have more over here. Uh, we want to make sure that we really uh, can cater to you when you come in and say, hey, I want to tint my car. And if you make a last minute decision, like we talked about earlier, hey, we, we've got you covered. So each of these boxes are 100 foot rolls. Yep. How many feet do you actually use for a car? Uh, every car is different. Uh, typically, you can get anywhere from six to ten cars, roughly, um, out, of out, of a, out of a roll. Yeah. Just depends on, obviously, the car. So you can do a lot of cars. We can do several cars. Yeah. We have to find you some more customers. There we go. <laughs> so just navigating through this software here. We can be selective on what um, pieces we want to cut out uh, respectively for doors. We got front doors, we got back doors, we got several different options uh, for tint wise uh, for your Model 3, including some different visor uh, strips, sunroofs, uh, front glass, rear glass. Of course, we're going to cut the rear glass out uh, by hand because that big back window is going to take quite a bit of shrink and it'd be much easier to do uh, what we call bulk uh, versus a pre-cut. So we're gonna pre-select. Uh, these are your front doors, these are your rear doors, and these are your quarter glass windows. So we're just gonna go ahead and select your doors for now. We're gonna double click it. It's gonna shoot it down here nice and big. It shows us what we're gonna cut.
Now that we got our film laid up on the car, we're gonna heat form it, shrink it to the glass. This glass has a little bit of curvature to it, so what we're gonna do, these are called fingers. So we wanna heat these things out, we wanna form it to fit uh, the glass. We got a nice pattern here that's drawn from the computer. Uh, now we wanna form it and shape it to the glass. We like to use stainless steel razor blades towards the top. You'll notice on uh, sometimes from the rubber seals here uh, and the heat, it kind of leaves a lot of rubber trace on here. And the really only way to really get it off is a good, flat, nice, brand new stainless steel razor blade. And I'll come back with a uh, white Scotch-Brite pad, a little soapy water to it, give it a little scrub, make sure I scrub all these edges. You get a scrub, wipe some of the dirt off the top that sits on the top of the window frame. Notice these top lines and these side lines, how crisp and clean the cut is from that plotter. We like to get a nice and tight micro fine edge. Make it look like it's factory tinted glass. Just like that. So a good practice to do with Teslas is every time you open your door, the window slides down a little bit. And you always hear that saying, you know, from tinters, hey, keep your windows up for three to four days after it's tinted. Well, that's because the seal sometimes is really tight at the bottom. And when this uh, window film is not fully dried, you potentially could peel the bottom of the film. So. A uh, little heat gun, a little heat action will help uh, secure that bottom edge of the film. So when you come in and out of your door, I'm going to seal that edge. So what I'm doing is I'm heating and I'm feeling with my other hand, just feeling the inside of the glass and feeling it as it heats up. I don't want to overheat it, um, but yet I want to get it hot enough to where it's actually going to do something and help dry that adhesive, dry some of that water out of there because we just tinted it. Um, so you can come in and out of your car and not, not be affected by the... Uh, that window rolling up and down.
Just as the front doors, the back doors need to be uh, heat formed as well. That's what we're doing here. you something here now on this Porsche they did a 35 um, tent on here and you cannot see inside the door you can see how dark it is now it does have black interior when you look at my car I also have 35 but because I have a white interior it doesn't look near as dark so it's something to consider when you're Picking out your ten intensity of your shade is if you have a light interior or a dark interior. So this is called Aries Air 80. Air 80. Air 80. Lumar Air 80. It's a ceramic uh, film for designed for windshields that uh, you can still stay legal, still see out of it, not not altering that uh, shade appearance at all whatsoever. And a fantastic, fantastic film. And so in Missouri, you cannot tint the front windshield. So this is our alternative, and it gives a 99 point. 9% 9 UV rejection. Yeah. UV rejection. Yeah. So excited to see what this is going to do and how it can protect uh, the front dash. I didn't anticipate the blue tent, but that's going to be cool because uh, that sun will glare in on the rides in in the morning and the ride uh, or the ride home. Uh, we get the sun right in the windshield. So looking forward to it. So prep for the top center window they're making sure that it is perfectly lined up. They're gonna heat shrink it, so it'll get rid of those uh, little ripples, which they call fingers, and uh, it will give it a much better fit inside the car after it's uh, heat shrunk to fit the curvature. So we're actually doing the center panel in the Aries right here. series, which has no tent to it. 
but because it has a 99.9% UV rejection to it, this will keep it from baking my head when I'm driving down the highway. Well, while you're cutting it, I um, I thought about doing it while you were heat shrinking, but you were occupied, and I think it's better as it while you're cutting it out. So you want to talk to me during the most crucial point of the process? Well, I'm gonna film you doing a little bit, and then you can no, no, no. <laughs> then, then you can stop, and uh, I'll ask you a question. Sure. So as I've been documenting this, I've been watching these fancy cutters in the other room cut these out to a specific pattern. Now you get to the windshield and you're actually doing it by hand. Why are you letting all that expensive machinery go to waste while you do this by hand? That's a good question. So there's a lot of shrink and form to this glass. And sometimes when you do a computer cut, 
Uh, sometimes uh, it gives you kind of a bulk size. It's going to be a little bit big anyway. So we like to form it without any pre-cut, without any you know kind of pre-existing lines. When we go to shrink the film, we got plenty of extra material to work with. Um, so then when we cut it out, we can get it nice and tight and precise uh, to the exterior of the glass, just because there's so much form to it. So it sounds like I came to the right place. Barnes Jewish is looking for a few more surgeons. <laughs> We're good with these now. Up close and personal. For the front windshield you saw that they used this uh, water soap uh, cord uh, around the bottom of the window to catch the extra water now we're going to see how valuable it was all of this is water that would have gone down into the dash if they had not been proactive and used this rope to uh, absorb uh, the water that runs down the windshield. So, very cool. Appreciate the TLC that you're giving our baby. And, uh... It's, uh... Okay, so, St. Louis Best uses a 60-inch roll for the back window. 
so that we get it all in one piece. Opening up a brand new box just for us. Don't we feel special? And we'll see how they do it.
I would like to take this opportunity to thank St. Louis Best Films and Coatings for allowing me to document my installation process of my tenting on my Model 3. They have been so nice and so thoughtful and allowing me to learn a little bit as I was able to go along this journey. Hopefully I've shared with you some of the things that uh, are important when you're thinking about having your car tented and what you should be aware of when you're doing it. I hope you liked the before and here is the after. I think it looks great. I've noticed a ton of difference in my car. Stick around, we're going to show you some other cool cars that they had in their shop while I was making this video. And thanks for watching Real Life Tesla. So they do more than Teslas and you just have to get in and look at this. This has got computer screens all the way across.